Fans of Alcorn State's Donald Driver or like small schooled University of Louisiana Lafayette's Jonathan Lucroy know you don't need to go to a big school to have big professional success. Our Justin Felder says the Green Bay Bullfrogs are winning despite a lack of Division I players. If you come to Joanne Stadium and you look at the rosters and just look at the colleges represented by the players on each team, you might think the Bullfrogs are at a distinct disadvantage. They're all the guys that you know you see on TV and whatnot, and we aren't, so we want to beat those guys. We Brian Celsi play. plays his college ball at Cal Berkeley, and he's just one of 10 players on the Bullfrogs roster playing at a Division I school. For comparison, Saturday's opponent from St. Cloud has 24 D1 players. The Madison Mallards have 27. Cross state rivals lacrosse have 23 at the highest level of college athletics. Football and basketball, I don't know that you could take a team of guys from tiny schools and compete against kids from the ACC or the Big Ten. But in baseball, you know, you get the right group of kids with the right mentality and you really can compete, can compete with anybody on any night. And the team is competing, covering around a 500 record for the season. New manager Daryl Handelsman says he embraces this type of team guys with a chip on their shoulder. Day one when we got here, he, he asked us about how many guys were D1, and you know, majority of the guys were not D1. You know, that's what he likes. Maybe they got passed over for a Division I scholarship, but we get maximum effort out of those guys every single night. Get out of here, get out of here. But bringing in small school players wasn't totally by design. The Frogs' new ownership group took over in late November. Usually teams have their rosters filled out by then. So they kind of got a late start, meaning next year you might see more big school players However, it's great to have 30 D1 guys, but there's no guarantee that those 30 D1 guys are, are going to get you in the playoffs either. Just because we don't have big time guys doesn't mean it's not a good baseball club. Trust me, like it'll be a lot easier to win when you're all on the same page than someone who has 25 big guys doing their own program. Celsi admits, look at the lineups and he understands if you think the Bullfrogs are at a disadvantage and the team is just fine with that. In Green Bay, Justin Felder, Fox 11 Sports.